So good morning, or good afternoon. <laughs> Dear Jens, it is a pleasure to have you here in the, the Berlimont. It's a real first. It's the very first time that the Secretary General of NATO is visiting the College of Commissioner of the European Commission, so a very warm welcome. Um, it is a symbol, a sign for the very good cooperation we have between the European Commission and NATO. Following joint declarations we had in 2016 and 2018, and this shows the depth of the relationship. So the two of us, we meet on a regular basis. We have a long history of working together because, of course, I've witnessed your outstanding leadership uh, in the five years I was uh, as a Minister of Defense in the NATO meetings. So I must really say you have modernized, you have strengthened NATO in an outstanding way, and that was really impressive for me to see that. Now here, the European Commission and NATO are good partners, but we could do more. We could be more strategic and we could prioritize better. So it's about topics like cybersecurity and emerging technologies. It's about climate change and resilience. So first on cybersecurity, we both know how important it is to protect critical networks and sensitive data. Today in college, we are adopting a strategy to enhance cybersecurity. We have a common interest to ensure that the hardware we rely on is safe. And we both want to fight disinformation that threatens our democracies. Indeed, here too, today in college, we will adopt a package to regulate the digital platforms. Second topic is climate change. Fighting climate change, as you know, is one of the top priorities of the European Union. And we know that global warming already causes severe geopolitical shifts. Climate change has become one of the most important security drivers. Just think of, for example, the desertification of landscapes or the conflicts and struggles for resources, scarce resources like water um, or farmland, pasture land, uh, following uh, the effects and the impact of climate change. Indeed, a few weeks ago, the EEAS published a climate change and defense roadmap proposing to integ integrate climate change into the European Union's defense actions. So I think one field where we can do a lot is between Commission and NATO that we share foresight, research, and that we cooperate on the measures we are taking, a wide field to work intensively together. And the third topic is resilience. Many EU projects and a lot of funding under Next Generation EU will have an impact on security. For example, military mobility benefits from the improvement of our railway systems, but also the investing in cybersecurity, new power grids, artificial intelligence, data protection. Of course, the digital infrastructure like 5G, 6G is very important for Europe's economic development, but of course it's also a key to mitigate possible threats such as uh, those threats in hybrid warfare. So there's a close link between uh, the two organizations. There's a lot of potential to re-energize the partnership between the European Commission and NATO, and I am very much looking forward towards uh, our exchange today in college. So thank you very much again for being here. Thank you so much, uh, Ursula, and uh, many thanks for inviting me to this uh, meeting of the uh, College of the European uh, Union Commissioners. For me, this is really a great uh, honor because, as you said, it's the first time ever a NATO Secretary General uh, participate uh, in such a meeting. And let me also thank you for your strong personal commitment to the cooperation between uh, NATO and the European Union. And as you said, I know you very well uh, as uh, Defence Minister of Germany, working closely with NATO for many, many years. So you are uh, a, a staunch leader and, uh, and a strong supporter of the transatlantic link, uh, which is embodied in our transatlantic uh, cooperation. So thank you so much for 
for inviting me and for uh, supporting the efforts we make together to further strengthen the cooperation between uh, NATO and the European uh, Union. And I take this meeting today as uh, yet another example of uh, that we have been able to lift the cooperation between our two organizations up to unprecedented levels. We are working together on many different issues. Uh, supporting partners from Ukraine to Afghanistan, addressing military mobility, uh, cyber, uh, countering disinformation, and also working together uh, on, uh, uh, for instance, uh, implementing the deal between, um, between the European Union and Turkey and, uh, and uh, uh, implementing the deal on migration, uh, illegal migration uh, in the uh, Aegean. Uh, so there are many areas where we work together. But as you, I strongly believe that we can further strengthen our cooperation. In uh, cyber, uh, we see more frequent and uh, more sophisticated cyber attacks. And NATO has established cyber as a military domain alongside the air, land and sea. And it's obvious that we can work more together with the European Union, with the uh, uh, Commission. Uh, I also appreciate that we uh, exercise uh, and that uh, uh, EU uh, just last month took part in a NATO exercise uh, on cyber, uh, an example of how we are working uh, together. Resilience is another area where I strongly believe that uh, uh, we can work even more closely together. We need uh, strong societies, um, uh, strong and resilient uh, infrastructure to make sure that we have strong uh, defense. Uh, and then I also agree with you that climate change is an area where we should look into what we can do together. Uh, global warming, uh, climate change is a crisis multiplier, and NATO has to address the security consequences of uh, climate change. We have uh, a unique opportunity to strengthen, to re-energize the transatlantic bond. Um, and um, uh, and uh, I strongly believe that we need to work uh, together. Uh, I don't believe in the US alone. I don't believe in Europe alone. I strongly believe in North America and Europe uh, working together uh, because we share the same values. We need to stand together in a, a more unpredictable world. In uncertain times, we need strong uh, international institutions like the European Union, like the Commission and NATO. And when we work to together, we are stronger and more capable of managing the difficulties we face together. So thank you once again for inviting me. Thank you. Thank so you. I'm looking forward now yeah. to the college. <laughs>